Have you ever wondered how you can do complex but still smooth camera animations? Or how you can add some extra realism to it? Besides that, I will also go over the most important things you need to know to master your next camera animation. First, I will show you the fundamentals of camera animations. Then I will go over the different methods. And in the end, I will show you an additional trick how you can add some realism to your camera animations. Let's start with the basics. If you film in real life, there are different camera moves you can make like holding the camera in your hands, run with it, film from a car, do a drone shot, or in 3D you can also do complex fly-through animations, or another thing you can do is attach your camera to a moving object or to a person to get a POV look. So to find out what fits your scene and story the best, make sure to get inspiration from movies and short films and other people you look up to to learn when and which type fits the best and what is the most pleasing for the eye. For example, the movie Dune is known for its static camera, which makes it very grounded and real. In contrast to that, many superhero movies use more dynamic and crazy camera movements, which again achieves a different look. So in the end, you just have to find out which camera move fits your scene the best. Another good rule is to keep it more wide angle if your camera is moving rapidly. And for the close-up shots and higher focal length, keep the movement slower, because else it's really hard to follow what happens. And just a little reminder, I won't go into folk length and composition and all that stuff, because in this video we will focus more on the animation itself. Okay, so now let's get to the practical stuff. The first method, and the method I use the most, is to just use a few keyframes. A trick I like to use to move around my camera very easily is to use the walk navigation mode. With that you can just um, fly around with WASD and move your view into the object with the mouse which is like in a game and it's really easy for me and you can access that by going into the camera mode and then press F3 and search for walk navigation or use the shortcut for it or set your own shortcut in the preferences. Let's continue. Set a start position to the camera, set a keyframe, then go to the end position and set another keyframe. If you have a more complex animation, you can also add more keyframes and keyframes in between. What is important here is to activate and if needed, adjust the Bezier curves. For that, just open up the graphs editor and press T on the keyboard and select Bezier. Now the whole movement is smooth. You can adjust the Bezier to fine tune the movement even more. The second method is to animate the camera with a curve. For that, add in a curve and transform it to the camera path. And then select the camera, which should be at the world origin right now, and then add a follow path constraint. Now keyframe the offset and it should follow the curve. Now you can also add a track to constraint to make sure the camera always faces the main object. Or just add a few rotation keyframes. So let's get to the third method. This is to attach the camera to an object or a person. For the object, just move the camera in place and parent it with Ctrl P and make sure to keep transformation. Now the camera should follow the object even if it's animated. If you want to add it to the head or chest or arm of whatever animated character to get that POV look, add a child of constraint and select the rig. And now you can also select the right bone and now it's parented to that bone's animation. And now you just have to move the camera in place. Now let's get to the promise trick. So in some camera movements you will get some camera shake in real life. For example if you film from a car or if you film handheld. For that download the Shakeify add-on from Ian Hubert. I have the link in the description. And after installing, you can customize the camera shake and add it on top of the already existing camera animation. I hope I could help you and that you could learn something valuable from this video. Make sure to like the video if you liked it and dislike it if you don't. And let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Make sure to check out my Patreon channel and claim your 7 day free trial to get more exclusive tutorials and many other things. I wish you all a great week. Goodbye.